This video is about metric unit conversion for length. Okay, so this diagram may help you. Okay, so it's one way to, I guess, to ease the, the difficulty in converting between these various units because that can be something sometimes a little bit tricky. So let's have a look at the, the, the I guess, the more common um, metric units for length. We have the kilometer, the meter, the centimeter, the millimeter, and the micrometer. Okay. The meter is the standard unit of length that we use in, in obviously in, in the countries that use the metric system. So to go from kilometers to meters, we follow the red, um, the red arrows. Meters to centimeters, basically the instructions are, are on the red arrows. So kilometers to meters multiplied by a thousand. Meters to centimeters multiplied by a hundred. Uh, after all, centi, um, cent, cent means, well, it implies one hundred. Uh, and it's no surprise that the Roman numeral for, for 100 is, is the letter C. Uh, centimeters to millimeters is multiplied, uh, multiplied by 10. Uh, meters to millimeters is multiplication by a thousand. So if you want to go straight from meters to millimeters, I could put one more arrow. Okay, so something like that. Okay, and that could be, we could put times 1000 there. Okay, if you want to. Okay, it might make cal some calculations a little bit easier. After all, milli means a thousandth. Okay, and um, converting millimeters to micrometers, we multiply that by a thousand. Okay, so you can see the pattern there. Kilometers to meters, multiply by a thousand. Meters to millimeters, so let's say, let's ignore the centimeters. Meters to millimeters, multiplied by a thousand. Millimeters to micrometers, multiplied by a thousand. We have nanometers as well, but we're not going to, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, going backwards, so micrometers, which is a very, very tiny, minuscule um, uh, unit of measure. Uh, micrometers to millimeters, we divide by a thousand. Okay, millimeters to centimeters, divide by 10. Centimeters to meters, divide by 100, and so on. Uh, so we could, uh, we could actually go backwards again. So millimeters to meters, okay, if you wanted to cut out the centimeters. Um, so rather than multiplying by a thousand, um, we, we're going to uh, divide by a thousand and that actually uh, helps us in the conversion from millimeters to meters without having to worry about centimeters okay <clears throat> so we only worry about centimeters only when when necessary otherwise kilometers meters millimeters micrometers are the more common okay let's have a look at a quick example uh, convert three kilometers I'm gonna go all the way to micrometers so three kilometers into meters okay we're going to multiply that by a thousand after all, the K means kilo, it means a thousand of. Okay, so three lots of a thousand. Okay, which is equal to three thousand meters. Okay, meters into centimeters. Okay, so three thousand meters. Okay, times by a hundred or multiplied by a hundred. Okay, basically we're just adding on another two more zeros. One, two, three, and another two zeros. And that's centimeters. Okay, so it's three hundred thousand centimeters. Centimeters into millimeters. Okay, so 300,000 times 10, okay, is equal to 3 million millimeters. And then millimeters to micrometers, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, multiply that by 1,000 again, and we're going to have 3 with 9 zeros. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that's micrometers. Now, it's this funny, uh, this little, uh, this funny U-shaped symbol. It's, it's called mu, okay, M-U, okay. And that's the Greek letter, basically the Greek letter uh, M, um, but it means micrometers, okay. And going backwards, if you're going to go micrometers uh, to kilometers, uh, in that, in this direction, so following the blue arrows, instead of multiplication, uh, we use division instead.